In this problem, Elia rode her bicycle from her house to the beach at a constant speed of 18 kilometers per hour. I'll usually highlight numerical information as I go along the way. And then rode from the beach to the park at a constant speed of 15 kilometers per hour. The total duration of the rides was one hour, and the distances she rode in each direction are equal. Let B be the number of hours it took Elia to ride from her beach from her house to the beach. So let's write that down. So B is the number of hours from, I'll use H to B. We'll say from the house to the beach. And the next letter P is going to be very similar. It's also time. It's the number of hours from this time we're going from the beach to the park. So B to capital P. And so we've defined our variables and now we want to use this key information we're given. So when we're going from the house to the beach, so let's use a different color. We'll say from the house to the beach, she's going at a constant speed of 18 kilometers per hour. And I'll use KPH for that. And then the other scenario, when she's going from the beach to the park, she goes a little bit slower, and this is at 15 kilometers per hour. Now, this next line here, the total duration of the rides was one hour. So we can say the total time equals one hour, and both the distances she rode are equal to each other. So it's the same distance from the house to the beach and from the beach to the park. So since they're the same distance, we know that since she was going faster from the house to the beach, she's going to finish that in a shorter amount of time. So we know the total time is one hour, and maybe she'll spend 28 minutes on this first ride and then 32 minutes from the beach to the park. Though, honestly, what we're trying to do is find out those exact times. But in this problem, we're not actually going to solve the system. We just want to come up with the equations. And let's start with this idea of the total time being equal to one hour. And we know that B is the number of hours from the house to the beach, and P is the number of hours from the beach to the park. So the total time is just the sum of these, B plus P. Since they're both in units of hours, if we add them together, we'll still get units of hours. So we can say that B plus P is equal to 1, since both of these are the number of hours. So maybe B is 0.46 and maybe P is 0.54. We're not sure. We'd have to actually solve these. But they will add up to 1 hour total. So with that, we can eliminate, it looks like, this one and this one, since B and P have to be on the same side and equal to 1. So we've narrowed it down to just these top two equations. And this will at least give a hint to how to solve the next one. And our next clue we want to use is that the distance in each direction is the same. So we can say, let me use a different color here. We can say that the distance from the house to the beach is equal to the distance from the beach to the park. So I'm using the subscript HB or BP to mean house to beach and BP to mean beach to park. And the question now becomes, how do we find the distance? We know we've got these variables representing hours and we've got these speeds. And remember, distance is just your speed, your velocity times time. Since if we multiply these rates by time by, let's say, two hours, then 18 kilometers per hour, the hours cancel out since you have hours in the bottom for this term and hours up top, and you just end up with kilometers, which is a distance. And in this case, if you go this speed for two hours, you would cover 36 kilometers. So to find distance, you just have to multiply our variable, which is time, multiplied by the speed. So the distance from the house to the beach, we're going 18 kilometers an hour, so 18 times by the time it took to go from the house to the beach, which was B. And over here, we know the distance from the beach to the park was the same. And to find that distance, we know we were going 15 kilometers an hour, 
and we were going for p hours. So we can multiply that, so 15 times p, and that will be our second equation. And you can see 18b equals 15p. That's choice letter A here. So this one right here would be the correct equation. And you can make sense of this with your intuition. Since looking at this, we know these are both distances and they're the same. So for these two expressions to be equal to each other, B would have to be smaller than P. Since if B is bigger than P, then this left-hand side is going to be bigger than the right-hand side. So for these to be equal, B has to be smaller than P. And that's what we figured out from before, from just thinking this through. We knew that since she was going faster from the beach to the park, or I'm sorry, from the house to the beach, that B would be a slightly less amount of time than the time it took from the beach to the park. So this does match up with our intuition, and we can feel confident that choice letter A is the right answer. So let's keep going.